What's up? It's Maddie here at a hotel room in Paris. And check it out. Hey, Maddie, where am I? Oh. Oh, that was that one. That wasn't. It. Let me try that again. Hey, hey, it's Maddie. Where am I? Oh. Oh. I, yeah, that was the extent of my Paris tour. Hope you liked it. Oh, noise. Okay, so we flew. I flew from the States to Europe. I don't know how many days ago it was for real, but flew overnight, got in in the morning, right? And then this is what happened. We landed, I got transportation, went to the hotel, checked into the hotel, two hours later started rehearsals. Flew overnight, literally got here in the morning and two hours later started rehearsals and then rehearsed all day and then rehearsed the next day, all day, all day, all day. And then here we are, show day. So really, I don't know what time it is or what day it is or what country I'm in. I do know what country I'm in. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was cool. Okay, let me do that again. I don't know what time it is or what day it is or what country I'm in. So I had all of my like world adapters and converters and all that stuff, right? Um, especially from South America, I was using those. And first thing I did today, plugged in the straightener, but I plugged it into the power converter that I had and plugged it into the wall and then immediately my hair straightener was just going like, oh cool, look at that, Eiffel Tower. So immediately, my hair straightener was just going like, Marr. I started making all these weird noises, like literally like that, Marr. and I'm like, okay, that's cool, maybe it's just, yeah, okay, whatever. And then all of a sudden, it just started smoking, and like going crazy, and it started smelling like burned electrical. Well, if I just leave it plugged in a little bit longer, at least it'll heat up and then I can do my hair. So that's what I did. So it was going like, Marr. I'm making all these weird noises and smoking and you know, I, I let that go on for a little bit and then grabbed the hot iron and did my hair. Was it safe? No. Did it get the job done? Kind of. Do I need to buy an iron while I'm here? Yeah. Cool. I, I need to like seriously get packing. I have stuff everywhere. I'm just looking, this is like horrendous. I was in this hotel for like 13 hours in Paris. How, how is my stuff so all over the place? Whatever, all right, I, I need to get ready. Okay, I'm in France. Why am I watching this Japanese channel? Have we, cause I wanna be able to speak Japanese and say, so remote operation will reduce the physical burden on the employees. Ah, you got that, ah, correct. Okay, I'm in France. I should be saying bonjour. Hey, there's my stuff, let's go. Okay, well, it looks like my Nespresso machine has a leak in it. You know, I gotta try to like figure this machine out. I think I like put it in there, but it didn't like do anything. And and every second that waste, I got water pouring out. So, man, wait, what? It's like, oh wait, never mind. I thought it was much lower than it was. Okay, but I don't think. Wait, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out. Stop laughing at me. Okay, this is no joke. This is no joke. This is gonna start spilling. I gotta figure this out. Why? It's, uh, it's gonna be a flood. I'm gonna flood the hotel. It's gonna be a flood. There's no other way around this. I'm gonna flood the hotel just so I can get a little shot of espresso. I'm gonna flood the hotel. Okay, here we go. I've been in this hotel room for like five minutes. What am I doing? I'm already calling the front desk. Like, I don't know if they speak English, but let's see. It's gonna be a test. Okay, here we go. Wait, that's not how you dial the front. Wait, I can't even get to the front desk in the same. Wait, I, I need to figure this out. You know, there's an option on here for emergency. It's borderline. Maybe I won't press that one yet. Okay, that one didn't work. I'm gonna try a different one. No one's picking up. I don't know how to use my Nespresso machine. Oh, but the city looks beautiful. 
you know what, let's forget about the Nespresso machine for a little bit and just enjoy the scenery. This city is beautiful. What's that? I want to go there. This looks great. And the water. This is really cool. Okay. I am enjoying the scenery. But let's get back to the Nespresso. We're going to, I'm going to have a little Nespresso and I'm going to sip it right there. Let's do this. Okay, I gave up on the watery mess of the Nespresso. I caved. Can't get a hold of anyone. It's blinking red. I'm just gonna do instant coffee. Wait. Come on. Really? Is this a joke? Wait, is it plugged? Is it plugged in? Let me see here. I don't think it is. Okay, okay, it is not broken. It just wasn't plugged in. <sighs> okay, let's plug this in and make some instant coffee. Okay, so wait, how do I plug this in? Like, I know how to plug it in, but what is the logistics of getting this plugged in? Do I actually move like this whole, I'm gonna do it. Move this whole thing. Oh boy, that's heavy. Nope, not moving the whole thing. What? How do I plug this in? How do I plug it in? Wait, plug it in, plug it in. All right, ready? I'm gonna pull this whole, nope. That's like bolted down. No, it's not, it can't be bolted down. I'm just weak. Okay, ready? Last attempt. Oh my God, it's so wet. I forgot, there's an espresso water still leaking everywhere. Okay, three, two, one, go. Boop, 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 boop. Nope, that, that is not budging. Okay, you know what? I am, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this one out. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna plug it in by the phone. Excellent, okay. Now, let's grab the water. Do, 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 Okay. Boop, boop, boop. And we have water boiling. Oh boy. What a, what a way to make coffee. Ooh, boiling, ooh, sizzling. But you know what? It's all worth it because the coffee I'm making is pure gold. You see that? Doig Burt's pure gold. Let's see what it tastes like. You know what, I, I can't open it. This. this is like glued shut with like industrial strength glue and I'm trying to tear it and rip it. I need to find like scissors. This, wow, this is turning into quite an event. Okay, let me find something to open this with. Oh, I did it. I did it. I opened it. Okay, let's go ahead and... I feel like this is going to be really strong. Because this cup is more of like an espresso cup. And I'm going to put like a full thing of coffee in here. It's going to be strong. But you know what? It's pure gold, so who cares? Add water. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at that lovely pure gold coffee. All right, look at this, I got bed head still, still like show hair. Okay, let's try some of this gold, pure gold, pure gold. Hot, but delicious. It's good, you know what, it's all good. Life is great, right? Come on, no matter what's going on, life is always good. Yeah, I'm making a joke about the Nespresso machine and all this stuff, right? But come on, I'm having good fun with it. I'm having good fun. My hair's all messy. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What am I, what am I, what am I doing? I don't know. What, I just got a knock and it was housekeeping. But I don't know if they speak English. But I'm gonna ask them about this Nespresso machine. Let's see what's up. I was trying to make uh, coffee today and eat Nespresso and I think there's a leak in the machine. Oh, I swear I didn't spill all that water. <laughs> I'm not that sloppy. But um, I was checking to see maybe there's something Okay, cool. Thank you. Well, we had the show last night. We played Paris. Today, I'm going to explore, and then we have another show tomorrow? That's correct. Maybe I'll have another update. But, yeah, I didn't plan on doing a, uh, a coffee video. I thought I was going to be like, hey, let's talk about the show. Let's talk about Paris. Let's talk about the crowd. No. Instead, it was me making coffee. I'll, I'll talk about it more in a bit.
What's up? It is, what day is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's Friday. Friday, Friday. Uh, it's Friday the 14th. Not quite. Why did my Japanese Siri go off? Uh, Ima, what the shit? No. Yeah, so my hair is just like, whatever. Because, what, the first time I plugged in my straightener, it, it fried, right? And everyone's like, whoa, what, are you an idiot? You don't know that you have to convert the, the voltage? I Okay, I brought the power converter. I brought everything. I plugged my straightener into the wrong input on the converter. Okay, so yeah, I guess, fine. I guess I'm an idiot, right? Because that was kind of dumb too. Okay, I get it. Okay, understood. The more I talk through this, I understand. That was a dumb thing to do. Anyway, I let it smoke and smoke and get hot. And then it was like hot to the touch. Who cares? Whatever. And I straightened it the best I could. It's looking a little messy. But I don't have a straightener. And it would look horrible if I cleaned it. So I'd, I'm like, should I do the bedhead look? Or should I look like poofy dog look? And I went with the bedhead look. At least it kind of works a little bit. So I messaged wardrobe today. I'm like, hey. Got any uh, straighteners floating around? And they were just like, Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. How'd you fry your straightener? All you do is you get a converter. I'm like, I know, I understand. Let's let's cut this. So they're gonna have a straightener for me. So then my hair will start looking better on these updates. Actually, it'll look better on tonight's show. We have a show tonight. Hey, where are we playing? We're, we're playing, well, I know we're playing Amsterdam. I don't know the venue. I'm gonna have to look it up. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna let you know the venue. I'm gonna pretend like I know this. What venue are we playing? Oh, oh wait, I have to stop the camera real quick just because um, low battery mode, one second. Sorry about that, the uh, the phone went into low battery mode. Yeah, we're playing at uh, AFAS Live. AFAS Live. We're playing there tonight. Showtime. Hey, so Amsterdam was cool. So I did get to walk around a lot yesterday. That's why I didn't buy a straightener. Why didn't you buy a straightener? Well, I wanted to check out the city. I was walking the canal. Uh, it was a little chilly, but it was all good. Hey, whatever. It's fine. And I went to a bunch of coffee shops. I went to the Anne Frank house, um, which is kind of nuts when it pops up. It like just comes out of nowhere. And it's like, oh, wow. Good. Crazy things humans have done in the past to make sure that we're just better in the future. You know what I'm saying? Drink coffee. Listen to Wham. I'm telling you. That's all we need. Let's be let's be more peaceful, right? Let's be fun loving people. Let's drink coffee and oh and speaking of coffee, um housekeeping came and they were like, Yeah, we'll we'll check it out, blah blah blah. But then I ended up just like leaving. So it's still broken. I'll write a note. I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, oh there it is. So much trouble that coffee maker. I'm definitely like resting up more, but I still I'm not used to like the actual time zone of the place that we're in. And actually the same thing happened in Japan where I was feeling rested, I was feeling energized, I was getting out, I was doing things, but I never got used to the actual time zone. I wasn't like a zombie and tired the whole time, but what was happening was I was waking up every day at like four or five in the morning, like with no alarm and like starting my day, not even being like, oh, it's 4 a.m. I gotta go back to sleep. I'd be like, oh, cool, it's 4 a.m. Let's turn on like Japanese uh, Cartoon Network. And it was crazy because like hotel breakfast would start at six in the morning and I'd be like, okay, cool. Oh, oh Siri's going off. So, like, hotel breakfast would be going off at, like, 6, right? And I'd be up, like, two hours before that and be like, oh, cool, breakfast starts in two hours. Like, imagine having to wait and be like, finally, it's time for 6 a.m. breakfast. So I follow all the South American Twitter accounts, uh, Peru, Brazil, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. And one of those accounts posted a picture of this pink guarana drink. And when I was in Brazil, I had so much of the, is that how you say it? Garana, Garana, uh, Antarctica. So good. I drank so much of that. So caffeinated. So I saw this pink version of it and I like retweeted it. I'm like, what is this pink drink? And everyone's like, oh, you got to try it. But it's like not the same company. Garana is just the, the bean that is used to caffeinate it. But it's a totally different company, not the same drink, but they make, there's this company that has, what is it? Garana Jesus is what it's called. Garana Jesus. And it's a pink drink. And apparently it's really sweet and it's very caffeinated. So someone actually said, hey, I'm going to be at the Paris show. This was like a few weeks ago. I'm going to be at the Paris show. I'm going to bring you again. And then so I'm walking through the parking lot. Whoa, I dropped it. Oh, oh boy. It's safe. It's safe. I'm walking through. I get out of the tour bus. I'm about to walk into the venue. I hear, Maddie, 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 hey, get your, get your Garana. And I'm like, 
what? Get your girl. It, it was almost like a street vendor. Get your girl out of here. Get your girl out of here. And uh, someone was like, Maddie, I brought this for you. So make sure you try it and make sure you film your reaction. So I will. I'm going to have this right now. Let's go and try this out. The only thing I know about it is that it's pink and it's caffeinated, which actually totally described me on the majority of the tours I've been on with Avril. Pink and caffeinated. Okay, again, the only thing I know is that it's pink. It is pink, right? I saw the picture. It's pink and caffeinated. Let's see. Yes. Pink and caffeinated. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Got to get the thumbnail. Actually, I don't know if that's going to be a thumbnail. Maybe it will be. Wow, I can already smell this. It smells so, like, citrusy, I guess. Let me see. What What is this? It smells really good. All right, so, so now I'm at the point where I'm in Europe getting South American drinks and trying them out. So... Brazil, why did I shout that? Sorry, someone next door is probably like, quiet in there. Okay, fine. Uh, let's try this, ooh, let's try this out. Garana Jesus, I assume that's how you say it. Garana Jesus, pink Garana drink. Let's see what we got. It smells so like citrusy, like fruity. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Tastes like candy. That is really good. That is dangerous because it's so sweet and delicious that you could probably caffeinate so much and not even realize it. Wow, that is really good. Whoa. Do I like it more than the... Oh, don't give me that question. Do I like it more than Grana Antarctica? Don't you dare ask me that question. Whoa. Honestly, if I had this and Antarctica next, like side by side, it would probably depend on the day which one I would drink. Because honestly, whoa, that is so good. Whoa. Uh-oh. Like, I kind of need to get Antarctica side by side with that. Whoa, that's, I did not expect it to be that good. Hold on, hold on, let me get some more. That is, whoa. You know, that's like a 10 out of 10. But then again, so was Antarctica. That's like a 10 out of 10. And so was Inca Cola, 10 out of 10. I don't even know how I would rank these for real. If I had all three of like the South American specialty sodas that I've had, Whoa, that kind of blew my mind. I'm going to drink the rest of this and, and figure out where I would rank this. Thanks. Oh, man. Thanks for the gift. Okay. Hi, I'm here in Amsterdam drinking this Brazilian drink while talking Japanese to my uh, Siri watch. Boy, what a what an experienced world traveler Maddie has become. Not really. I'm just having a good time. They're so good. Like 10 out of 10. All right, now I have to go ahead to the venue. Remember like that on the Paris show day, I'm like, oh man, I gotta go, I gotta go. Like like right now I have to go pretty soon, but at least I'm like prepared and rested. Like, and my hotel room is relatively clean and packed up at this point. Like I'm getting a little more into the routine here. That first day was such panic getting into Paris, like the show and like, uh. so I just have to finish the rest of this can of Garana Jesus. Now, is it bad if I drink that whole thing like this fast? Probably it's gonna be like, Let's hit the stage. Anything after this for updates? Uh, watch the show. Oh, nice. All right, I'm gonna hit the stage, finish the rest. All right, just wrapped up sound check. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the bases I've got on tour here. Yeah. Actually, over here, this is gonna be my my extra base here so this one this one's cool this one is it's in rotation for emergency purposes i guess so this is the second p base i've got on tour i'll show you the other one so this base i actually bought in buffalo my hometown and this is the base that i moved to los angeles with this is the one that i played all of the clubs with and actually when i got the avril gig this was the only base i owned at the time uh it's american standard base it's got Seymour Duncan quarter pound pickups in here. 
Babbitt's Bridge. And it has Kipshot D-Tuner. Nope, actually I took that off to put on one of my other bases, but it does have Graftech tuners as well. So, man, this is a really nice base. And in 2019, this was my main base that I used on Head Above Water Tour. So you'd see lots of pictures with this. So up until the time I got the Avril gig, this was my, actually my only base. All pictures and stuff from the LA clubs and everything. I love it, it's got a little wear in there. Um, I still bring it on tour with me sentimental base for sure but um i have it out of the rotation right now just kind of here still traveling the world with me but kind of out of the rotation and using my other bases let's go and take a look at the others Ta -da! japan love it okay let's take a look at the three so these are the three that i've got in rotation right now this one here this is actually my the main pbs i'm using this time around this one is a Player Plus series. This base, actually, Fender gave this one to me last year before the before the Canadian tour, I believe. So uh, this one's great. It's active passive. I only use it in passive mode on tour, but it does have the PJ setup, so I can blend either the P base or the J base. And the only modification I did to this one. Is the hip shot detuner so that i can flip it from drop detuning to standard but actually this bass sounds great i really love the finish i get so many compliments on the finish um i'm using elixir strings as well so again um active passive all kinds of cool active electronics on it for eq but you know i'm using it in passive mode mostly well only i should say so that's my main p base i've got here fully stuck again minus the hip shot detuner in the back let's see what else we got do, 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 do. we also have so this one's really cool this is my jaguar base i have this tuned in b-e-a-d tuning so this base is actually super sentimental to me this was gifted to me from derek frank a super good friend of mine and huge mentor a uh, very important person in terms of how I landed the Afro gig to begin with. So um, he gave me this bass and he actually toured the world as Shania Twain's bass player and played all kinds of cool venues and TV appearances using this bass. So it's always gonna mean the world to me. It has Aguilar pickups, the PJ setup. Uh, again, it's tuned to B-E-A-D. Um, instead of having to use a five string bass, I'll still use the four, but yeah, this one is great. And actually he gifted this to me on my birthday the day that I was announced as Avril's bass player in Los Angeles. So super cool. It was a birthday present for me uh, four years ago now. Well, I can't believe I've been with her that long. So this, this will always be sentimental. All right, let's check out this third bass I'm playing here, my final one. So I have three in rotation then, as you've seen, I have the fourth bass with me. Uh, this is a player series jazz bass that was given to me uh, from Fender. Love the finish. Um, this was given to me back in 2020 in anticipation of the European and Asian tour that actually ended up getting canceled. So uh, it took me a few years to actually get this on stage, but this is also tuned to B-E-A-D. I have this uh, for the ultimate tune songs as well. Uh, the pickups here are custom. They were made for me um, by Pariah Pickups. Uh, super cool. They're a little higher output and they've also got a little uh, tightness in the low end so it, it's got more clarity. So those were custom made. I do have um, the Babbitt's Bridge on there as well and uh, Graftech tuners. I am touring with all Fender you may have noticed. They're the best. So there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, we're setting up. Let's, let's get ready for another show. Hey, what's up? It's Maddie. Hey, today we have an off day in Hamburg, Hamburg, Germany. So I'm going to go get some coffee. I'm going to explore. I'm going to see what's up. Uh, rest up from the shows. What time is it? It's like, I feel like it's morning, but it's not. But it feels like it is. I'm catching up on my sleep. Hamburg. Love it. I love having off days in, in cool cities where I can explore. I wonder how far I'll get. I don't know. Let's make some coffee and, and try it out. You know, it's going to sound so weird, but like the technique of tearing like these packets and stuff in these European countries, it's so different than America. Like the way that they they glue it or seal it or whatever, it's just so different. Like there's a different technique to open it just because the way they're packaged. Oh, let's try this mild 
It's also weird what you can't open packages. What's wrong with these musicians? What, people on tour? No, it's just, it. once you figure it out, it works. Remember in that first video, I couldn't open the instant coffee? Now look at me, I'm a champ. Okay, enough of the rambling. Let's go to that area right there. There, there, every time I move, don't worry about it. We're gonna go there. Let's go check it out. All right, let's see what Hamburg has. These buildings look really cool. The architecture and everything. Literally the best espresso I've ever had in person working. It was so nice. It was so good. Um, didn't speak English, so I was using to translate to learn a few words. <laughs> this is the Hamburg City Hall. Let's go check it out. And just the walk coming here, like, this is such a, a gorgeous, and down here I haven't seen yet, but just the architecture and buildings and the history. Yeah, this is, this has been a, a really cool day on the European tour so far, and this is just the start. This is, uh, this is really cool. Let's see what's down here first, and uh, I, I, you know, I kind of don't want to go back to the hotel. This is great. I really like it here. Let's go through here. I this is just the architecture and the buildings and and the history of what everything represents. This is just this has been such a special day so far, and it's a bummer because I know that I missed so much in the other countries just based on the schedule or are getting into the routine and rehearsals and jet lag so i'm so upset that i probably missed so much on the other countries but i'm going to make sure to explore everything as much as possible city is really awesome. I just wish I could speak German. I know there's Google Translate and I can use Google Translate, but you know, not being able to freely have my own thoughts or hear people and all that stuff in the language, I I feel like I'm losing something. I made it back safely. Now I can do my hair and color and clean it up and look a little uh, great and enjoy the rest of my off day. Yeah, no, this was like really cool. Let's make some more coffee and chill. And it's funny, every time I love a place on tour, it's because of like the interactions I have with the people. And that very first pastry shop I went to and, you know, interacting with the lady there who didn't speak English but just was like so friendly and we had to communicate with like body language and smile and you know and teaching me a few things like I love that if you're ever going to go abroad and, and visit different countries at least learn some of the language you know I, I'm kind of upset that I didn't get to experience Germany to the level that I would have if I had spoken the language so 
you know, learn the language. And actually, we have a show here tomorrow, so I'm here for another day, which is great. So maybe I'll go back to the coffee shop. Maybe I'll see that person again. Um, yeah, no, this is great. I, I forgot about that. I really like it. So I get to explore a little bit more and then play a show here. Wow, I forgot about that. I don't even have to leave right away. I get to explore. So I'm going to put this up and explore and then put another video up and then come back. Just kidding. So let's keep it going. Okay. Bye. Happy show day. Let's go ahead and start it with some uh, coffee. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at opening these, these packages. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this all set and start the day. Now I'm ready. Okay, so remember the other day when the espresso machine wasn't working and I was making the joke about like, oh, I'm gonna flood the hotel, I'm gonna flood the hotel. Why is my hair not done? Why is it whatever? I'll show you why. So I didn't notice when I was taking a shower that uh, the water was not going down the drain. It was going down, it was going out the shower door. So now, <laughs> this is what I'm working with at my hotel room. I have to leave for the venue in like 20 minutes. Yeah, so. Don't make jokes about flooding the hotel rooms, otherwise it will happen. Right, you know, for a while now, I've been like, boy, I wish I could speak German. Now I really wish I could speak German. Okay, let's call the front desk and see, see what we can do. Um, the water actually flooded the bathroom floor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Like, I also put some things in the fridge here, in the room. It's good stuff. But now I can't get it because I think it's like electronically locked by the minibar system that's like wired here. And I'm pressing like the button. So yeah, so I'm going to leave here um, flooding the bathroom with my shower and leaving a bunch of items in the fridge. But I love this city. We built this city. I love this city for real. It doesn't change how I feel about Hamburg at all. All right, everything is all packed up. We're ready to go. Let's go play a show. check is done well for me there's some drum stuff going on let's uh let's go to catering okay we're in between meals here but it's fine i'm not hungry i just need more more coffee let's make some ristretto seems like a good time let's load it up i got my cup ready let's go ahead i'm telling you this is the best part of the tour well i mean the shows are pretty good too Espresso shots on demand. Do you know how many of these I have a day? Many. All right, so there's no meal up. I got my espresso. Let's chill. Let's, I don't know. Let's get ready for the show. Let's do this. Good morning. We're in Offenbach. We got another show. Made it to the dressing room. Hey, I remember that place. Um, so what do we have going on today? We left Hamburg. Hamburg was great. Awesome show. Drove overnight. We're in Offenbach now. Sound check in a few hours. Another show. Let's do the whole routine again. It's a good time. I'm going to go find catering, get some coffee. Yep. Found it. Let's start with some of that. Found catering. Had two shots of espresso. Another cup of coffee. That should get me going for the morning. I'm up so early, like the dressing room's not even stocked yet. I love it. Eventually there's gonna be snacks and waters and sparkling waters, ooh, sparkling water, and everything you can imagine. But I'm here so early, I didn't even like get to do the grand entrance of all of that, whatever. You don't need to see it, you'll see it later. Will you? I don't know, keep posted. This venue looks fun. This is it's funny, we've played hockey arenas, we've played football stadiums, theaters, this one, 
This is fun. This kind of feels like a gymnasium. This is going to be great. The energy is going to be fun. I'm excited for this one. Let's see what it's like up here. Ooh. I'll go that way. Oh, sorry. Can't. There's a red velvet thing. <laughs> rope? <laughs> yeah, we'll call it a rope. Okay, check it out. I'm going to leave a pick under this seat right here. R728. Wait, that's not the seat number. Is it? Yeah. R7. Okay, row 7. What am I talking about? Row 7, seat 28. Congratulations. I'm leaving a guitar pick under here for you. Hopefully you find it. Wait, let me make it a little... There you go. I wonder if you'll wonder if you'll see it. Congratulations. Hopefully someone finds it at the end of the night. Hopefully whoever has that ticket doesn't watch the video later and be like, Oh, I was at that seat and I didn't grab the ticket. Like part of me kind of wants to post that early, but then it'll be a mad dash because then someone's just going to take it who's not sitting at that seat. And I want, I want row seven seat 28. I hear you. I know you want a pick. I want you to have that pick. So I'm going to post it. What am I talking about? More coffee? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go to this shop here and get some, uh, some German food. Let's see what I should get. Let's see. There's a tree in the way. I'm sorry. What, what, what place am I talking about? I'm talking about this place. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get some. Uh, I'm gonna get some stuff here. Let's see what we got. Okay, based on the recommendation of the shop owner, I got some dirt schlosser. I'm horribly saying that wrong. And some knoppers. Oh, this could be good. I'm gonna try this out. Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna have it. Uh, I'm gonna try it out and see what we got. And the owner there was like, "Oh, you want stuff that's like popular here in Offenbach? You should get some knoppers and get some dirt schlosser." I'm saying that so wrong. I don't know what's totally in it. Well, it said milk on the thing. So we got milk, we got wafer, chocolate. It's a good time. Let's go and try it out. Oh, it's really good. I see why it's popular. Oh, it's really good. Oh, I want to make a mess. I'm going to eat the whole thing before I try the... Before I fly it. Before I fly. Before I try the dirt low shirt last year. I, I need to learn how to speak German. I'm officially an eating channel. This is good. This is really good. Hey, I have plenty of time before the show. I might as well just get some more. What am I doing? I, I chowed down on that knopper so fast. Didn't even have a chance. If only I had a drink. Oh, wait. I do. So after having the knoppers, I just had messages come my way on Instagram. And they're like, no, in German, you pronounce the K. It's not knoppers, it's knoppers. Well, apparently I don't have any more knoppers here to reshoot the video, so this is just a horrible start to my day. So like, first thing, can I just point out that this thing is like, so heavy? It's like, oh, I spilled it everywhere, I squeezed it too much. What? It's so heavy, I, I had to. Surprisingly, I missed every single article of my clothing. I only got it on the expensive leather seat of the tour bus. Dirt thumbnail uh what am i doing uh dirt 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 closure. let's try this out mm. absolutely not the flavor i was expecting wow whoa it's really good i thought it was like apple juice i saw an apple on there and i'm like okay cool apple juice no this is really good i i see why it's popular dirt closure. I, I don't think i'm saying that right I steep perfrich. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to speak German at all. That's really good. Yeah, I've got like another hour before sound check. Maybe I can go back and get some more. Instead of having like water on stage, maybe I'll just have dirt lotion. What's up? It's Maddie here for update number. I think it's number eight. Tour update number eight. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Also doing fine. Just doing fine? Yeah. Why not great? Well, because then I would have answered the same word that I asked. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you don't want to copy. So I'm here at a hotel room in Munich, Germany. We played a show last night in Offenbach. Offenbach, I think that's how you say it, Offenbach. And, you know, the vibe of the show was really, like, unique. So different. Now, I did an update on it on the last video where I was doing kind of like the load-in for the gig. And, you know, it was kind of like a gymnasium. It was like the, the way that it was set up and the size of it and the intimacy, like, it was crazy so this show i feel like it's going to stand on its own 
on tour. We got to Munich this morning, checked into the hotel. Now I'm ready to start my day. So let's start heading out. All right, so it is a wet and rainy day here in Munich, but it is all good. I'm not gonna miss the opportunity to explore. You wanna know something? I love cold weather. Let's see if you can see my breath. Ha, <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Uh, cold weather versus hot? I'll take cold weather any day, for real. Aldi, that's, of course it's in Germany. Oh, let's go, let's check it out. Aldi Sud. Let's go to Aldi in Munich. Actually, let's see what they have here. I wanna get some really fun German stuff. Let's see what they have. Let's go shopping. Am I going in the right way? I think so. Let's do some shopping at Aldi in Germany. I'm gonna buy like the whole store. This all looks interesting. There they are. Knoppers. Of course I'm picking them up. Are you joking? Find some knoppers. I'm oh, told this is pretty good too. Let's try it out. Julie, I think this is the same stuff we had backstage at one of the shows. It's like a sparkling apple juice. It's so good. It's apple juice, but it's like carbonated. It's the best. I'm, see, I can't justify it. Well, can I, can I justify that? Yeah, I'll just throw it on the bus. I got it. Okay, now we're talking. Coffee drink, cappuccino. I don't know what that one means. Latte macchiato. Oh, that's Starbucks. No way. We want the local stuff. I think I'm just gonna go with the latte espresso. You know what? Let's get one of the cappuccinos. Uh, let's get one of the macchiatos. And then, just because I feel like I'm going to love it, let's get one more espresso one. I don't know what this stuff is. I'm going to buy it, figure it out what it is later at the hotel room, and then I'll eat it. I'm just going to, oh, that looks good. What is this stuff? I'm going to get a bunch of this. That's the first thing I noticed. The yogurt in Europe is so good. I can't even describe it. Some of the Greek yogurt as well. Maddie, why are you getting so much stuff? Don't worry about it, because, like, this will be my lunch and dinner and breakfast. Don't worry about it. But like, honestly, you don't understand how good the yogurt is here. Like it's, I can't even describe it. Like even if I buy 50 of them right now and load up the bus, they will all be consumed. Possibly by the next show. That's how good this yogurt is here in Europe. You know, they had this at breakfast this morning at the hotel. They had the white sausage and everyone's like, Maddie, you didn't try it, you're gonna love it. And I didn't know it was there. And then by the time I knew about it, I was already full, so. But I can't buy that, I'm not gonna be cooking it, but um, I'll get it in the hotel in the morning because I'll have to try it out. More yogurt, do I dare? I don't know the difference between this. Yeah, of course I dare. Like, don't dare me, I got it. I'm gonna eat so much yogurt. Do I want the vanilla one as well? Yeah, you bet I do. I want to try one of the Greek in this brand. You know, win in Germany. I mean, technically I should have said win in Greece, but like I'm in Germany, so, you know, come on, leave me alone. I'm having a good time here. Ooh, let's try this one. I just put a post on Instagram and I asked people like what I should get. So now I'm getting all kinds of recommendations. So I think my cart is going to fill up five times more now. Let's, let's get everything. It is a wet, rainy day here, but you know what? It's actually not that cold, so it's pretty fine. Okay.
okay, I just got back from grocery shopping. And after I put out that Instagram post and asked for recommendations of what I should get, it just got so out of control. I'm gonna have to do a part two. Like this is the end of part one. Part two is when I'm gonna actually have to try it because this is just, you wanna see how much I got? This is like out of control. Check this out. Okay, this is what I bought based on the recommendations and things I wanted to try. How am I supposed to eat all of this? I do have a fridge, I just checked. Oh, like thank the universe and all that is holy that I have a fridge because how would I be able to do anything if I had to eat this all like right now? Let's go ahead and, I don't know, let's figure this out. What's up, it's Maddie here in Munich, Germany. My hair's all messed up because I was in the rain. You have to watch part one if you don't understand. It was wet, it was rainy, I wanted to see what was out there and I ended up like coming across an Aldi and I'm like, oh, that's funny because they're a German company and oh, you know what? I could probably buy a bunch of German food there. Put out an Instagram post of, hey, what should I try? Who lives in Germany? It got so out of control that I ended up getting this much food. And I don't know how I'm supposed to eat all of this. Like, this is crazy. But let's go ahead and try some of this. Starting with the, how do you say that? Obaz, obazda, obazda. Someone said that's good. Obazda. The cheese dipping sauce. And I assume that it goes very well with this pretzel. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, let's try it with the pretzel. Here you go, everybody. My very first dip of some, uh, how do you say it? Obazda. Oh, hey. I'm the only one eating it, so I can double dip all I want. Here I go. I can't talk. Who says that? There's so many products made with like the with the Kinder chocolate. Kinder, Kinder, Kinder. I, yeah, I don't know. But let's go and try it out. I've never had it before. Let's see what all the hype's about. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh, I like the way it looks. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. I don't know. Yo, you got this uh, milky center. Oh, look at that. I'm becoming such a food channel. That wasn't even a very descriptive word. Like milky. Wow, so milky. Oh, wow, did you go to culinary school? Uh-huh. Every time I think it tastes like something, but it does have like a similar taste profile, there's literally nothing I can compare it to. Nothing I can compare it to. Nothing I can compare it to. This is really good. I think I had this backstage at one of the shows. I think it's like a carbonated apple juice. I think. That's what I thought when I bought it. It totally is. I was drinking it. See? Bubbly. It's so good. Now I'm curious about this one. I think it's also an apple drink, maybe? Perhaps? Let's try it out. Let's see if it's also carbonated. Okay, let's. Let's see if it's as fizzy as the other one. Let's see. Mm -mm. Whoa, what in the world? Whoa. Wait. What is that? Whoa, wait a second. Okay, so the other thing is like sparkling apple cider. What is this? Okay, okay. Okay, all, why did I say okay a thousand times? Every time I go to a country and try like a soft drink from there, it like blows my mind. Um, um, Dudler. That is so tasty. Wow. And I guess this is a football bread and I guess it's good just for, I don't know, dip it, dip it, dip it good. Do you dip it? Do you just eat it? What do you, what do you do? Let's see if I can break it. Let's just. Let's try it without the dip first and see what's up. In addition to, oh, that, is, that is, whoa. I just looked at it now. How fluffy that is. That's, whoa. So, wow, I'm like, sorry. I was taken back by that. I, what I was trying to say was when I put the post on Instagram, I had a lot of people just saying general one word answer, bread, any kind of bread. So I grabbed a bunch of bread. This thing was like 75 cents, not even. That's crazy how good that is. Tastes like a pretzel. But like, imagine a pretzel that had that type of like fluffy airiness to it and it eats like a piece of bread. 
That's why it's blowing my mind. Oh, it's just a soft pretzel. No, this is like a loaf of bread that tastes like a pretzel, but also has, I don't even know. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We got some tough fee fee. All right, 10 out of 10 on the packaging. Look at that, I didn't even open it. All I did, I slid this out and like, that's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and open it up. Pretty good. Okay, let's see what we got. Thank you, whoever recommended that one. That was so like impersonal. Thank you for whoever did that. Oh, but that is so good. This is the first one that I feel guilty having to eat so fast because it was so good, but it's like a caramel hazelnut thing that, you know, when I'm like, oh, let's just try it so I get to the next thing, I felt pretty guilty. I can't wait to actually enjoy that later and just let it ah, do its thing. That was weird. Actually, you know what I'm like so obsessed with here is the yogurt. And I got a bunch of the yogurt when I was there because this is cool, I can keep it on the bus and eat it all to her. Not this jar. I'm not gonna eat this jar all to her. Stop, you know what I meant. Why are you being that way? All right, when I put a picture out, when I was at the grocery store and I'm like, hey, what should I get? Someone said, hey, get this. I can't remember what it was called. But I'm like, sure, why not? Like my first thought is please, do we have time to get back and get more of those? That, ooh. Whoa, I've never had something that was so spongy on the inside. Check it out. It looks so weird, but it sponges right back into its regular shape. That's why I was like freaking out when I was biting it. Cause I thought I was just gonna bite right through. Nope. This, okay. Did not expect this. This is my favorite thing. I thought it was just gonna be like, okay, let's try this little like cinnamon ball or whatever, but. Yep, so far this is my favorite thing of the whole all the trip. This is gonna be tough, I'm slowing down. So this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a few more of the breads. Breads, oh man, I'm so full already. Yeah, bread, okay, we're gonna have bread. I'm gonna try that coffee drink and I'm gonna start putting things in the fridge. I'm not, I'm, let me say that I'm not throwing this away, I promise. And I can't remember what it was. If it's as good as the other thing, like, I'm gonna have to call the front desk and put like an emergency because I'm going to lose my mind. I thought it was gonna taste just like the other thing. Not even close, the consistency is so different. Hey, back to bread, okay. Because you know what? What better judge of bread than just by eating a piece of bread? Okay, here we go. What am I talking about? This is crazy, like I'm not even joking. That's a legit reaction, you probably saw it. Whoa, I just got another, what kind of bread is that? This is, I promise this is authentic. How can you get that excited about a piece of bread when it's this good? That's how. What, what am I talking about? I'm not, I'm not even joking. The last thing I'm gonna try is this espresso latte. Okay, now how cool could a latte be? I don't know, but check it out. This is really cool. So peel back the foil and the plastic has like a, a cutout for it to sip through. That's really cool, love it. Let's go and see what it tastes like. Let's see what we got. Yep. Oh, that's good. The top three things. I had that pastry ball. I don't even know what you would call it. I need to figure that out because that was amazing. Like, whew. then that bread that I had. Like, how good could bread be? Stop. It could be that good. And then number three is going to be the good old Almdudler. So this is crazy. So I looked it up and they say it's like a carbonated soft drink that's made with like herbs, like herbal ingredients. So I was gonna say it tastes like tea, like an herbal tea or something. It's like an herbal tea soft drink. It's really, let me try it. I haven't had it in a while. Let me see. I haven't had it in a while. I just, I just had it 10 minutes ago. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It tastes like if you made Earl Grey tea into a soft drink and put someone in a hat on the label, two people. That's what it tastes like. What's up, it's Maddie here. My hair's not done. I'm in Munich. I have German snacks and food everywhere. I have to, you know, why is this a recurring theme? Uh, wait, my, oh, what, what, my Siri just got activated. No, 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 no. Oh, let me see if I can unactivate it. Uh, oh, I did. That was good with my chin. Boop. Why is this a recurring theme where it's like, oh, I gotta leave pretty soon. Oh boy, my, you know, this is just, you saw how much food I had yesterday, right? This is crazy. 
I don't, all the pastries are still chilling. Like I, I should be packing this stuff up. The fridge is still fully stocked. It's show day. The ride's gonna be here in like 15 minutes. I should start packing up. Hey, yeah, so it's show day. What am I doing? I, why am I not getting ready? Okay, I'm not here to jinx myself. I mean, I am, it's exactly what I'm doing, but I just wanted to say, as goofy and crazy as I am, and how I'm like, well, I gotta be down there in like 10 minutes. I always find a way. You know, I haven't, I, I've never missed bus call. I've never been late for a sound check, and I've never been late for a show. Well, obviously, and I've never been late for a rehearsal. Did I just jinx myself? Yep, whatever. Well, because I'm rambling so much, and I, I'm about to like be on time, but if I keep rambling like this, I'm gonna miss bus call. Hey, uh, just want to let you know that I, I always make bus call. Oh man, I've been talking about it so much, I missed bus call. Show day. Like I said, hey, I made bus call. I always do. Never gonna be late. Love it. Ready to go. Well, I don't know if they're ready to go, but they're here. Man, this venue is nuts. Look how far this goes back. That's gonna be fun. Alright, let's get let's get in position here and see what we got. Blah 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 blah. Oh, this venue is crazy. It goes back so far. That's good. Fun. Boy, it, it, how many people is this hold? I don't know. It's gonna be crazy. La 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 la. Test, test, test. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, it's already time for sound check. Things going fast. Is it? I don't know. It seems to be about just the same time duration that passed. What am I talking about? I got a get. Okay, what did I get? I love it. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go on this. This seems like a good spot. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Ooh. Indonesian coffee. Sorry for the sound check going on. I mean, it is a music venue after all. Take this back secret exit and see what the crowd's up to. Shall we? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's see what we got. Wow, this is longer than I thought. Sorry, I thought this was gonna be. Oh, cool. More stairs. Thank you. Thank you. Where? Oh, I'm on stage. Oh, nice. I didn't know where I was for a second. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, there's the crowd. Love it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. What's up? It's Maddie here with update. I don't know what update it is. Number nine, I think. Number nine? Number nine? Number nine? I hope it is, because I just made that reference. And That's right, just waking up, start my day, even though it's like noon, because we had a busy day yesterday. We played a show, drove overnight from Munich. Now we're in Zurich, Switzerland, about to do another show, and... I haven't stepped out of the tour bus yet. I have a coffee floating around. Oh, but it's on the other side. I feel so sad right now. Let me grab it. But yeah, I haven't stepped off the bus yet. I came down, ate some yogurt, drinking a nice coffee. Now I'm gonna go check out the venue. Let's go see what we got. Another show day tonight. Did I already mention that? Yeah, I did. Okay, here we go. Which competition? The <laughs> Where is it? Where uh, is it? <laughs> they, hold, they hold national ones first. Oh, yeah. Wow, Switzerland is beautiful. Look at that. I can't even... I don't know what this is going to look like on camera, but the just the amount of greens and the, the depth of everything, like, this is... This feels so 
different from every other place I've been in Europe so far and in the world, honestly. Hey, how's it going? This is Maddie again with another tour update. I can't remember what number we're on, but hey, whatever. I'm just waking up. We played a show last night outside of Zurich, Switzerland. Switzerland was so gorgeous. The greens and the hills and the trees, like the show was really awesome. Got on the bus, went to the next city, brings us where we are now, which happens to be a whole other country. We're in Italy, Padua. Padua, I believe you say it. We're in Padua, but the show's not until tomorrow. So we have an off day. And we're about a half hour away from Venice. So I'm meeting up with some band members that we're going to go check out Venice, come back, and then tomorrow we'll see Padua, play the show. And I still think we're in Italy for a few days after that. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted on all that. What am I talking about? I don't know. Uh, we're grabbing a taxi. We're going to be in Venice. So check it out. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Yeah, that looks like cheers. Cheers. <laughs> My little espresso shot. <laughs> I'm running from a still photo, but you can't make it from a video. What kind of alcohol is that? Well, you could put an orange in it. Yeah, they had the little thumb signs, which I guess is like sections of like degrees away. <laughs> yeah. So Barney, Barney Rubble. <laughs>
What's up? It's Maddie. It is Sunday, April 23rd, show day, Italy. This is like such a common recurring theme. I have to be down in like 15 minutes and I didn't like pack or do anything and I have to get ready. I've never missed bus call, never been late, but I'm pushing it. Okay, let's go to the venue. If you see my next scene and I'm at the venue, it means I made it. If I have an update where I'm in the hotel room and I get left behind, well, let's hope that never happens. I'm my lug. I got my road bag. Road bag? What am I talking about? What are you going to say? Hey, you watch your mouth, you road bag. Hey, what'd you say about me? What am I? You know, every time I'm so ready to get to the bus and then I start joking and then I'm I'm going to eventually just miss the bus because I'm going to be doing this like, haha, mate. Okay, what am I? Stop. I got to get the bus. Let's get some bus coffee. Actually, the bus coffee is pretty epic. Got whole beans, fresh grains every time. Wait. I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna pretend like I'm watching the show. Oh, that's cool. Oh, pretending I'm sitting there. Oh, cool. There we go. Oh, now we're getting the, now we're getting the concert experience. Yeah, woo! It's starting. Show starting. Quiet. Show starting. I need to get ready. I have sound check. What am I doing? Ciao, buongiorno. Ah, scusi, scusi, buongiorno. Well, I was just waiting for the show and someone's like, Matt, Matt, look at that. How cool is that? From Italy, thank you so much. I'm sure I'll, the person will tag me later and I can thank them personally, but I don't know who brought it, but thanks. All right, I need to go play the show. It's less than see. Love it. Look at those cool bases over there. Okay. Fight. And that's show day. That's what's up. On to the next city. Off to Milan. That's a fun show. Cool. Two coffees before going into the menu. Sparkling water and coffee. Those are like, in terms of beverages, that's like what I drink primarily. Another day, another loading. Ooh, let's see what we have here. Wow. 
I'm not allowed to be here because I don't have a hard hat, so I'm going to have to leave immediately. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. What's up, buddy? <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a very fun show. I got a good recommendation that there's a coffee place, about 10 minute walk. And what a gorgeous day. So let's take the 10 minute walk. Let's see what we got here. This is definitely the best weather we've had on tour, like no doubt. Sunshine, it's so warm. It's perfect. This is, uh, it's a great day. I assume that maybe over one of these ways, there's a, uh, the coffee shop we're going to. The car pulled up and they were like, Maddie, no way. We can't believe it. We were at the show last night. We're going tonight. We can't believe we're meeting you. And, and I had a guitar pick for him. So how about that? Okay, there it is, the Kiss Bar. I have a good referral on this one. Let's go check it out. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, this is cocoa powder on top of the cafe latte. This was a one euro fifty, which is a dollar sixty-five. That is unbelievable. I can't wait to try this out. Where? Oh man. Okay, so I I made a wrong turn and now I'm like in the woods and I shouldn't have done this. I don't know. I have sound check coming soon and. Which way do I go? Where do I go? I'm so lost. Oh, it's right there. You know, half the fun is just kind of like exploring. Okay, what? Oh, I'm gonna go up there later. Let's see what this random like. Look how cool this looks. I would say that. Look at how cool this looks. Look at how cool this looks. Look at how cool this looks. I wonder where it goes. Well, it goes there. But I wonder where that goes. Well, look, there's so many people already lined up. It's such a hot day, they're gonna get a nice suntan. Hopefully they have wearing sunscreen. Oh, wait a second. Wait, where are all those people? I need to, I am, wait a second. There are a lot of people on this side, hold on. Uh-oh, now I'm scared. <laughs> hey, all access means all access, which means I can even go up this escalator that's out of service. All right, oh, are there more? Oh, let's go up even higher. I wanna go, I'm going to the roof. I wanna go, I wanna go on the roof. Excuse me, sir, you can't be on the roof. Sure, I have an all access pass. Oh, my mistake. Enjoy the roof. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm getting to the roof. Look at how beautiful that is. What? I'm not even on the roof yet. Okay, no support. A pool? Nice. How did I not notice that before? And I also said no supposes. Apparently it leads to this. Ooh. Where is it? How long? All right, let's do it. Some... No, I thought there was someone there. Maybe there is, uh-oh. Oh, what? Oh boy, let's explore. What's going on? Come on, Maddie, stop being so scared. I'm not. Maybe if I do a bird call, they'll think it's a bird, but then I just, oh, what's going on here? Little, oh, I feel like someone's like, this looks like someone. Who said that? Look, go. Okay. Well, I definitely don't like the look of that. Not touching any of this metal. Leave me alone. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, cool. Well, that was fun. Okay, let's be real for a second. Of course I wasn't scared. I'm just, I'm just, you know, trying to figure out uh, where that noise came from. Whatever, who cares? Not like I'm scared or anything. Oh, hey everyone. It's really not that scary up there. It's really not. It's not. Ooh, where's this lead? Oh, okay, it's the venue. Okay, so, well, okay, I'm gonna pretend like I have a ticket. Oh man, I'm so excited for the show. I'm so excited for the show, I'm so excited. Actually, you know what, hey, hopefully I have a pick. I'm gonna leave a pick for someone. Uh, let me check my pocket. Mm. Oh, I do have a pick. Okay, I'm gonna leave one, okay, hold on. But I need to figure out the section I'm in. It was gonna be a good pick. Okay, hold on, hold on. Carefully, okay, so we're in B1. Row 12, okay, seat number, I mean, again, this could be life-changing, seat number 14, congratulations, you have a pick, don't let anyone take it from you, okay, and don't let anyone uh, crush your dreams, because you know what, they're happening. All right, and just like that, another show is done.
Yeah, there was a stage there a little while ago. How about that? Um, off to the next city. More shows. Gotta do it. Isn't that crazy? In and out. In and out. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Love you. Update number... What are we up to? 14? 15? We're in Prague. Wow, this, this is cool. I can't wait to start exploring. What's up? It's Maddie. Hey, we, uh, we played a show last night outside of Milan. And right after the show, we got on the bus, drove, and, well, just got to Prague a little while ago. Minus those few days in Italy, it's been uh, generally pretty chilly on this European tour. I see a cafe, let's see if they're open. Ah, to temo oggi. I'm gonna check out the McDonald's. I'm not actually gonna eat anything, but I like checking out the menu. Let's see if there's something cool on there. All right, I'm probably gonna head back to the hotel. This is just like a little mini tour. Um, yep, and then tomorrow we got a show and a posted show. All right, see ya. What's up? It's Maddie here in a hotel room in Prague. And I have to be at the bus in 30 minutes. And I'm still hanging out in bed. Relax, I don't miss bus call. I don't! Why am I yelling? I'm sorry, person next door. We're not at 26 minutes. 25. All right, let's get going. Look, I don't miss bus call. I got everything packed up. Let's go to the venue. Man, this is great. I wonder if it's gonna be up before our show. <laughs> I wanna I wanna go on the rides. So there's the venue. And here's the carnival, so I'm hoping it works out. Nice, we ended up in a Czech mall. Galaxy Gamer. Alright, I'm on a quest here to find some makeup wipes. I think, I don't think that's the right aisle. Makeup wipes, makeup wipes. Okay, let's see. Ah, here's the makeup. There's gotta be some makeup wipes, am I right? I think this is it. Uh, cleansing wipes for is it makeup though? Let's see. Cleansing wipes, face and eyes. Only one hundred twenty nine dollars. Okay. Um, makeup remover wipes. Got it. Done. Actually, let's go with this one. Organic aloe vera. Sounds a little better. Three percent additional ingredients. What? Wait a second. I need to really uh, reconsider this one. Definitely gonna need some Airwaves Extreme. Yeah. See someone else is like, yep, you're right. Actually, maybe I'm not quite extreme. Maybe just kind of cool. 
Let's go with the airwaves, cool. Well, I just realized this airwave is the exact same color as my outfit and my hair. It's kind of funny. Maybe I can get an endorsement deal. Let's check out the venue today. Man, look at my faces looking all nice and blue over there. Ready to go and uh, people are loading in. People are loading in. People are coming in. I don't know. What's the right term? Whatever. It's about to be showtime. Let's go. And just like that, another show. It's done. The main event is done, but I'm here for the uh, post show, the teardown. <laughs> and I will see everyone doing this again tomorrow for another show. In and out, in and out. All right. Mm, where are we after tomorrow? Oh, Vienna. Vienna tomorrow. Good morning. Back at the venue after leaving Prague, what, eight hours ago? No. Time for the load in and another show. Let's go the venue. This venue is great. Love it. My bases are still nice and cozy. They haven't been set up yet. But, yeah. I need to get some catering. Let's see what's up. I forgot to mention we're in Vienna, Austria. I, was, I said where we came from, I said we have a show, but it's Vienna. So I'm gonna find catering, like I said. Maybe shave, freshen up a little bit. Now I'll do that after, because I wanna go explore. I wanna go explore. All right, let's grab a little espresso shot. Let's get that going. All right, I can't remember how I got in, but hey, there I am. Well, but I see an exit there. Maybe I can sneak out there. All right, here's the first look at Vienna. Walking right outside the venue. Let's see what's around here. Oh, cafe. All right, first stop. Let's do it. Good. Yeah, <laughs> and then over here, instrumental. Very cool. I love it, and the espresso is really good too. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is, oh, same music. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite. Oh, I like the, the painting. Oh, that was so good. And the treatment here is great. I'm having such a fun time here. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is great. Thank you so much. I think that's where I'm going to. I was told that there's a very historical palace here and I put the directions in and I think it's that way. I think that's where I'm going. Let's enjoy the walk in the meantime. All right, we're at the gates of Schönbrunn Palace. Let's go inside. It's kind of a lot of food here, but I was recommended to try the sash torte, I think it's called sash torte, apple strudel, and another cafe latte. Let's see what they have. All right, we made it to Mr. Schnitzel. They had some recommendations for this one. Try it out, and then perfect timing. I'll be able to get some schnitzel and get right back to the soundtrack. Let's go and try it out. All right, we made it. Here's the schnitzel. Super excited to try it, and I already know I love this drink, so it's gonna be a good meal. 
I'll eat some of this. I'll probably bring the rest back with me and then um, and then get over to Soundcheck. Pretty good. Really good, actually. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Not gonna lie, I'm slowing down quite a bit after all the pastries, the cafe lattes, the schnitzel. Whew, I need to walk it off. Okay, luckily it's time for sound check, so I'll just get to the venue and, uh, you know, then I'll start to get ready for the day, I guess. I can't get over the blue sky here and how it contrasts so perfectly with the buildings and the street and the architecture. Like, this is something to see. All right, I made it back to the venue just in time for soundcheck. Just kidding, I've got plenty of time before soundcheck, but wait, is that the venue? I think so. Maybe I'm just like, is it? Or maybe that's the venue. I don't know. So I probably shouldn't have walked across five lanes of traffic like I was gonna do, but wait. Yeah, let me cross. Okay, you know what? Let's do some. Let's do something smart for a change, and let's follow the crosswalk. What do you say? Yeah, that seems about right. Let's not get hit by a car before the show. Yeah, that sounds great. Or after the show. Or anytime. Apple Maps, you didn't fail me. You got me right back to where I needed to go. All right, sound check time. That was the venue. How about that? Another show. Done, done, done. On to the next city. Another show tomorrow. Where are we off to tomorrow? I'm going to have to look at the schedule. Lots of cities to remember. This was a fun one. All right. I'm out. I'll see you at the next city. Um, where are we at tomorrow? I don't know. I'll look at the schedule. Okay, bye. Good morning again from Stuttgart, Germany. Hey, we got another show. Always. Let's see what we got. Another big venue. I love this. It's going to be great. All right, while they do the load-in, I'm going to do a little exploring here. This is the best part of having all access pass. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so this room, not so much. I thought it was cool because it had like the boop, but wait, was that my reflection? No, wait, what are we talking about? Is that a ghost? What's this thing right here? They're peeping through the peephole. Oh, this is like the merchandising area. Oh, okay. Oh, you want some merch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old well, we'll step on up. Is that the, people don't say that. Nice, we're playing the Porsche Arena tonight. That's pretty cool. Cause then I get to walk out of here with a free Porsche. Well, drive out of here. That's pretty nice perk. I want to get into the fun part. This is just kind of like the general admission area. I want to go to like the roof. Excuse me, sir, there's a red rope here. Yep, sorry, doesn't matter, I'm all access. Oh, okay. Are you serious, you going under it? Uh, yeah, cool, I almost got stuck. Okay, okay. What will that person tell me? <gasps> okay, where are we going? Okay, let's see. Man, that'd be such a bummer if you bought seats here. You can't see anything. Hopefully we're not selling those for too much. Okay, how do I get up there? That's kind of like where I want to be. All right, well, I found the way up. But I'm wearing like these little boots. I'm wearing these little boots and these boots weren't made for climbing. So maybe that's... Hey, come on, stop. I'm trying to do a video. Hey, thank you. Great. Whoa, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I ruined the system. Sorry, show's not happening. I'll be running the uh, spotlight tonight. And for some reason, it got stuck on the base platform and it's only showing the base player. That's kind of weird. I'm good, looking good, everyone. Okay, stage left, right. I don't know, I don't know. It's a new, it's a new job for me. I'm gonna have a struggle. It's my first day on the job, being the spotlight operator. Ooh, it's getting spooky. Now let's see if we can find something even spookier by going up, not down. Hey, I just saw someone like walk there. It's like a reflection, it's like a... I thought there was a person there, but it wasn't. Kind of creepy. It's not like I'm scared. Why is it so impossible for me? Like all I have to do is just sit for a few hours and wait for sound check, but why do I have to climb this ladder? Why do I have to do anything? Why do I have to make these videos? What am I doing? Why is my hair sticking up in the back? You know, these are questions that, who knows who has the answer to it, that what? It's like a maze trying to get to the dressing room here. What, wait, how do I? This one. No, wait, no. It's this one. Interesting. Oh, I thought it was locked because it didn't turn. Whatever. Alright. Cool. Ooh, nice song. Wait, how did I just end up right back here? Wait a second. Alright, let's explore Stoop God a little bit. I gotta find some coffee. Gotta find some coffee. What am I talking about? Gotta find some coffee. Hey, do you mind if I uh, get on this crane real quick? Uh, you can't do that. Uh, I have an all-access pass. Oh, well then, 
be my guest. I see some buildings and I see some cars and that means one thing, coffee. Wait, wait, where does this path go? Wait a second, this leads to a fence. I just went a loop. Okay, so the first sidewalk took me to a fence. The second sidewalk took me back to the venue. Okay, I think I know how to get back to the venue. Oh yeah, there's the bus. Love it. Let's see if there's a coffee place over here. I mean, it kind of looks like it, right? Come on. Got a little tent. From what I know about little tents, they serve little coffees, also known as espressos. That is not a coffee shop. That is someone building carpentry. Where are we at tonight? We're at the Porsche Arena. Here, I can do that again, even more dramatic. Where are we at tonight? We're at the Porsche Arena. Okay, whatever. We, you got it the first thing. How cool is this? A care package from Germany. Let's see what's in here. There's so much stuff. Lots and lots and lots of candies. And everything. Oh, this is great. And there's like a description of all the stuff too. I showed it to the security guard here and they were like, oh, this is good stuff. Like everything, I heard that this is like liquid filled and they were explaining how to make all of this stuff. So, wow, this is really cool. I'm happy I was finally able to like meet someone and get a gift. I, I see pictures and I see the messages that gifts are often brought to the venue, but it's so hard to meet up. Thank you so much. I'm, this is great. All right, let's see what we have for dinner. Pan fried swordfish. Sounds dangerous. Jerk chicken, very mean. Jerk cauliflower, also kind of disconcerting. Ooh, people are already in. Ooh, look at my bases. I'm gonna sneak over here real quick. I'll see what my bases look like. Ooh, it's warm in here. Oh, love it. Ooh, yeah. Looking good. Nice. So fancy. Hey, I forgot to mention, so I have like these glow in the dark stickers here. You can't really tell. That's from when it goes complete blackout. I can still see the frets. So on some of my bases, I have like the permanently installed lumen lays, they're called. They're like little glow in the dark inserts that you put into the frets, right? But this base was a gift, so I didn't want to modify that one. And this base, which is so new, Fender gave it to me for the tour that I didn't modify it yet. So yeah, if you ever, well, how would you ever see that? You're not gonna see that, but that's what I see on stage. I see a little glow in the dark stickers. Um, all right, go Fender. Love it, okay. I'm gonna get ready, okay. Bye. What's up? Update number, I don't know, 16, I think. You know, technically an off day, but we have a long travel day. I think we're in Germany still. So that's where we're at. We're right here. A few more hours, and I think we still have five hours till we're in Poland. Travel day continues. Okay, next stop. Well, we're gonna, almost in Poland. A few more hours. And this is epic. Look at the coffee. Love it. Man, what? Technically, today was an off day, but it was a pretty hefty travel day. We left the venue yesterday. Where did we play yesterday? We played in Stuttgart, Germany, right? Played the show, got on the bus, and drove overnight and through the day and got to well i can't figure out how to open it but we got to poland and it's already sunset crazy sun's already setting and all i did was get into the hotel room so i'm going to meet up with a few band members we are going to get some dinner get some authentic polish food maybe explore the area what's around here see what's looking cool at night and then uh tomorrow morning i'm gonna go super early and make sure i can explore poland some more let's see what we got
All right, so on our walk through Woods, unfortunately, I think it's how you say it, Woods, Woods. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the places were reservation only or they were closed, um, but it was still fun to walk around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to sleep early. It's like 1 a.m. and that's early technically for this. Uh, go to sleep early, wake up early, and then I'm gonna, that means I'm gonna go and explore and get all kinds of pastries and coffees. And this area is filled with so much history that I am so excited to explore. Um, but that's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna freshen up, I'm gonna be all great. And uh, next time you see me, it's gonna be like six in the morning and we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna do this for real. Okay, bye. Well, actually there's one more update. I was gonna go like just shower and go to sleep for the night. And look at all my colored uh, shampoos and conditioners and everything just exploded in my bag. Oh, I gotta stop yelling, it's like one in the morning. Okay. But, you know, whoever is next door should know that my stuff exploded. This is important news, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy, that's gonna be messy. Hey, it's a good thing to stay in the bag, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What's up? It's Maddie here. Wow, look at my hair. It's like not done at all. Don't worry, I'll straighten it and I'll do it. Hey, we're in Poland and I was out early and I was exploring and, and I bought some, how do you say this? Well, you don't, I don't know how to say it in Polish, but like black currants is the fruit, I think. It's like a berry, like a grape type thing, black currant. This juice was like the best thing ever. And tonight is like the biggest venue of the tour. We got a big old arena we're playing. Why am I shouting? I don't know, because I'm excited. Why didn't I do my hair? I don't know, because I'm excited. I love Poland. It's a beautiful day today. Look at that. You can't even tell how beautiful it is because it's so washed out and sunny. Okay. Wow, this is a beautiful day here in Poland. So I heard a recommendation of a pastry shop here, which is actually just a few minutes away from the venue. So this is good. I'll get some time to explore and, and hang out here in Łódź. Here it is. This is the cafe, bakery, pastry shop. Not sure how, what you would call it. Not even sure how to pronounce it. Okay, maybe I got a little too much. I got a strawberry one and I got a coffee one. Let's see how it is. Okay, I ate those both. Those, they were so good. Pochka, I believe they're called Pochka. I believe that's what the waitress said. A cafe latte. Well, still never did my hair. That was so good. I ate those both so fast. One, two, and I'm gonna get some more and bring them back to the venue. That was crazy. Um, okay, I should probably start getting ready. I need to get, uh, get over to soundtrack. First, I need to buy some pastries. I'll be right back. And look at this. I didn't even notice that. How oh, cool. Not one, not two, but three reminders that we have a great show tonight. Not to say that, that this is also not very important. You know what I'm saying. all the cool stuff here. There's so many people and everyone's just walking around. There's so many stops and pastry shops and restaurants and coffee shops. Speaking of, I need another coffee. Another cafe latte. Yeah, let's get another cafe latte. Wow, these buildings coming up are beautiful. Check this out. I forgot that this is actually the longest street in Europe. So I said probably turn around at some point because it's just literally this one street goes on and on and on and on and on. All right, let's head back to the venue and then I'll probably do some more exploring. All right, bye. Check out this venue hallway. How great is this? This is fun. It's like a racetrack and it's neon lights. All right, you know the routine by now. Let's go ahead and see what this venue has to offer in terms of exploration. I hope the whole place is like this. This will be fun. If I had a pick at this venue and you get it, you are having a very lucky day. Lots of stairs, lots of seats, lots of rows, lots of things on the ceiling. 
Oh, I wonder if I can get on the roof here. Okay, let's go ahead and find it. Uh oh, there's people. They know what I'm up to. Okay, let's see what we got. Beautiful sunny day here in Poland. It's like such a good day here. Look at that. It's crazy. People are already here, of course. Let's see what's up here. I want to see how high up we can go. Not even this barricade can stop me. Well, because I don't think it was just supposed to. Ah, oh, there we go. That's looking good. Phew. For a second. Oh, wait, there's another one. <laughs> For a second there, I was, uh, I thought I was lost, but it was great to see a familiar face. I'm not going to lie, in terms of ease of exploration, why do I say it like that? Exploration. Uh, it's actually pretty difficult to get around. Look, I'm just trying to get up there, okay? And it connects there. Oh, just got to go to that ladder. Okay, hold on. All right, so that's not too difficult. So you get on this ladder, you go up here, then you walk across here, and then you parachute down, and you land safely right on that. But, like, not, like, right in front of it, so then you can still enjoy the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got this all planned. However, I do not have my parachute. You know, I think I'm going the right way. It's a little spooky. Wait, oh. Oh, it got even spookier. What is this? Is this? going on? Hello! <laughs> no. What's going on here? Turn that on. Oh, 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 that was weird. Okay. I'm freaking out. But I don't know if this is the way to the stage. Wait. It's the way to a curtain. That's pretty fancy. It's like a movie theater. Look at these blue lights everywhere. Love it. Okay, let's see where the bases are at. It's right over there. Looking blue today. Well, that's all I can really say. Filling in. It's a big one tonight. It's by far the biggest venue on this European tour. Let's have a good time. Okay, I'm gonna second it ready. Okay, bye. What's up? It's Maddie here. Hey, it is, what day is it? It's Monday. Oh, it's May 1st. Wow, it's already May. We played a beautiful show last night in Poland. The arena was massive. Everyone was so into it. The crowd, the lights, the light shows with the phones. Such a great show. I had a blast. So again, just want to thank Poland for an awesome show. So what do we do? Again, like we always do. We wrapped up the show. We got on the bus and we drove, 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 drove. And then today we are back in Germany. We just got to Cologne. Let's go check it out. Well, another great day here in Europe. The weather and everything, this is great. Just the first week or so was pretty cold, pretty rainy. So glad to see if we got some good weather here again. There's the destination, the coffice. We're going to the coffice. It's a coffee office, get it? Unless maybe it's like a German word and it's not actually a pun. So maybe I shouldn't joke about that when I get in there. Okay, so the coffice was closed. No coffice, I'll get coffice tomorrow. Let's go across the bridge. I wanna see some of the cathedrals and the buildings and stuff. So I had to look it up. I wasn't sure why there were so many locks on the bridge. And apparently these are all love locks. It's couples who are expressing their love and locking it to the bridge. So every single one of these is a couple that has locked their love to the bridge here in Cologne. That's really cool. And there are a lot of them. <laughs> Round two. And I was gonna take video and then I accidentally took a bite of the cannoli first. Oh well. And look, I know I'm in Cologne drinking coffee from an Italian espresso bar here, but you know, whatever. It's good. I'll also do some exploring. The coffee was closed, so I had to.
wow, the weather changed so quickly. Like literally, like in one second, it went from sunny and super warm to, uh-oh, it's windy and cloudy and rainy. That's nuts. You know, the rain clouds actually make this look more beautiful in a weird way, right? It's interesting. Everyone's doing like a mad dash, like under here, back to their hotels, back to their cars. Like, uh, yeah, it's not even an exaggeration. Like literally it was bright, 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 sunny, sunny. And literally one second later, it was this. All right, I made it back to the hotel. Only a little bit of wetness, you can tell. My hair's all crazy. And I like it, it's good, it's good. Uh, no one around town's gonna question it because everyone got caught in the rain. Maybe they will. They'll say, why are you looking like you got caught in the rain? Um, I'm gonna go get some dinner now. Let's go see what's up. Let's see what's around town. Oh, so this has been a for a long time. It's just been this iteration of it since I knew. Brian pork, like mashed potatoes, German sauerkraut. Yeah. What'd you get? Some beef and raisin dish. All right, well, I tried, but I couldn't finish. I'm gonna bring the rest back. That was a lot of pork. I don't know how anyone could finish that, honestly. Well, maybe they could, but... All right, I'm gonna bring the rest back. I feel like I'm carrying 10 pounds of leftovers with me. For real. It's been a full day already. It's been nice, and I have some more time tomorrow to explore, so... I'll probably go and check out the cathedral a little bit more and just rest up and yeah, see what else this city has to offer. What's up? Maddie again. Hey, this is day two in Cologne. Hey, can you believe this? That this is the first fully off day that we've had so far on the tour. Like, for weeks. Well, obviously, you know, we've had breaks from shows. We haven't been playing shows every day, but usually what happens is on those off days, we're traveling to different cities, unloading, transporting luggage, blah, 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 blah. So actually, I'm gonna go check out the cathedral now. Let's go check out Cologne. Day two in Cologne. And then over here, like I said, first true prepper day off on tour. Oh, being in a city and staying a whole day before needing to leave. Heading out with Dave. We're gonna go <laughs> to the top of that Cathedral.
just incredible to see the architecture and the engineering. I'm not sure when this particular part of the cathedral was built, but I know that it's just been hundreds of years of construction, and it's just, it's mind-blowing when you see it in person. The bell just rang. It's 11.30, it rings, I guess, every 30 minutes. Wow, it was loud. All right, that was a good break. Back up, back up the stairs. Getting closer. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm not ne like necessarily afraid of heights, but even this feels a little jarring just because it is so high up and you feel the wind. This is, I can't even begin to tell you how high off the ground we are. And guess what? We still have to go up this little spiral staircase. You know, in full open disclosure, yeah, it's a little jarring going up. Wow. serious hike. Which way? I think it's this way because there's a gate there. I think I'm going the right way. I might end up in the crypt. Oh, it took years. Like every little bit of the staircase is a different year. So it took years just to construct the spiral staircase coming up. It's truly amazing. Okay, I know like I'm often very silly and very like dramatic and over the top. Like right now. Uh, but okay, that was honestly a crazy workout going up and down okay so now we're gonna take a little break and we're going to the treasury this is where they have all kinds of church relics and historical artifacts and stuff from the construction of the cathedral so let's go ahead and check it out Yeah, it's just beautiful and breathtaking and I can't even describe it, just, I still can't describe it, I'm looking at it, it's literally lost for words. Every time you look at it, there's something new, new detail. This thing was being built for hundreds of years, like there's just so much. It's, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Okay, so now we have some time, Dave is checking out another museum here in Cologne and I am going to the coffee, the coffee office if you will, and I will. Uh, okay, so yesterday they were closed. I wasn't going crazy. The reason they were closed was because it was actually a holiday here in Germany. Did not know that. It's such a beautiful building. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Okay, about 24 hours later, here I am returning to the coffee. And there's actually people here. I should have known that it was like a holiday or something was up when I walked in here yesterday and there was like nobody at, or like anywhere on the elevators, on the stairs, in the stores. But did I think twice about it? No. Wow, the service there was so friendly and so awesome. I cannot wait to start drinking this cafe latte. Cheers. Wow. Whoa. This has just been a good day. This has just been like a really good day. Starting with the, the tour of the cathedral and having such a great latte. Yeah, this is, it's been good. Okay, if you thought the cafe latte looked good, and it does, don't get me wrong, except for that place where I drank it, right? Look at the banana bread they just brought out for me. Apple cinnamon banana bread looks so good with caramel drizzle. Wow, just like for presentation, like 
A plus and service like so friendly here. Wow, it's like really warm. And as soon as I cut a little, slice off a little piece, right? It just smells so fresh and I can smell the bananas. <laughs> really good. Wow, what a day. Oh, it's like crispy on the outside, crunchy, but the inside is fluffy and like, this is really good. So normally at this time, it's like almost like 1.30, we're always at the venue at this time. We're already loaded in, we're like locked in, we're ready to do sound checks, then we have the show later. So normally by this point, my exploring is done. But here I am, I just finished another amazing cafe latte drink. And I still have the whole rest of the day ahead of me to explore. This is nuts, what am I gonna do? Okay, first of all, I'll go back to the hotel for a bit, chill. And I'll do a second wave of exploring and do like a part two video, how cool, part two. Good job, good job, Cologne, you get a part two. How about that? What's up? It's Maddie here. And every I noticed every time I start a video, I'm always like, how's my hair look? And then I do this and then it never really looks much better. So why do I do it? I don't know. Hey, Maddie here. Um, Hey, so it's 6.30 in the evening. Like I was saying, this is the first fully off day I've had the entire tour. And I'm about to do a second round of exploration. What, you're crazy, Maddie. I know. So I got tipped off that there's something really cool that I'm gonna like. I don't know if anyone else is gonna like it, but I'm like, what, that's here? I, I need to go see this. So I'm going to head back out, see this mystery thing, and then probably get some coffees and chill and enough rambling. Here we go. Okay, so this seems very different for me, right? Like, what other video have I been in the shopping center in like, the mall area? I mean, like, ooh, this is totally what I want to document. However, sorry, I yelled in that guy's eye, ear. I didn't, well, it was kind of his eye, but it was close to his ear. However, there's something here that just has to be documented. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't come all the way to Germany to get Duncan. So what am I doing in this part, right? What am I doing? What am I doing, Duncan? I'll show you. All right, we made it to the destination. Hard Rock Cafe. Okay, yeah, this is confusing, right? Why, why do I want to go into a Hard Rock Cafe? And also, like, why would I want to go to like a chain restaurant here in Germany? Like, what's the point? And why am I walking the wrong way? There are just so many questions that are never gonna get answered. Okay, maybe the questions will be answered. Okay, if you saw part one, right? You know, I went on a tour with Dave this morning. We went through the cathedral. It was great, you should watch it. Okay, but anyway, after the tour, right? We kind of split up. He texted me, he's like, dude, you have to go to Hard Rock. There's something that's gonna make you a Hard Rock believer. I still have my doubts, but let's see if I can find this uh, item in question that may or may not exist here and may or may not change my life and may or may not make me a Hard Rock believer. Cause I'm a believer, I'm a believer. Is that how it goes? Not the item in question, but an Elton John hat is pretty cool. But we need to find this item. Why am I yelling? Okay, wait. Gwen Stefani actually wore these boots on the cover. Wait, okay, that's actually kind of cool. This isn't the item, but like, that's actually kind of cool. Stop it, I'm not supposed to be enjoying this. That's actually pretty cool. So this is a Hard Rock Cafe, can you stop yelling? Well, what's more Hard Rock than yelling? That didn't happen, but that would be a funny scenario. I'm just trying to yell so someone can say that to me and then I can respond by saying, well, what's more? Okay, um, I should stop interrupting people's dinners. Okay, found it. I'm only interrupting people's dinners for like a minute. Hi, welcome to Clone, sorry I'm interrupting your dinner. Look at this, what? George Michael. I think I'm just gonna maybe stay there until tomorrow's show. Okay, I'm very aware that people are trying to eat their dinner. But you know what? When in Cologne, about to play a show, and there's a George Michael leather jacket. Hey, I wonder if I swap this jacket with that one. And I can wear that one on stage. I don't know if it's We're gonna figure this out. Well, unfortunately, my attempt to at swapping out the jacket was unsuccessful, but let's see what else is around town. Ooh, let's go over here. I like the look of it. It said it was closed online, but it looks pretty open. That looks open. I think it's open. It's open. It was open. Is it a chain? I don't know. But I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got that. Do I know what this stuff is? No. Well, let's go ahead and try it out. Pastries are so good, but there's only one I don't know. I've been into this one. Whoop! I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Ah, Nihongo de Sanin de Kake. Okay, um, I'm in, I'm in Germany. People are looking at me. 
Actually, I'm pretty bummed out. I, I just realized this is the last night in Germany. You know, on this tour, it seemed like every other day we're back in Germany, back in Germany. We did Munich, Hamburg, Stuttgart, Cologne, Offenbach. I believe I hit all the cities we had in, in Germany. So it seemed like every other day, right? We're back in Germany. Well, when we play the show tomorrow night and we leave Germany, I'm not coming back on this tour. Well, it's definitely a chain because here's the latte I'm still drinking. And there's another one. It's funny, I'm looking at the camera and a lot of the stuff in Europe, it like pulses like that, the lights, right? But it's only on camera. It doesn't look like that in person. It's just because of the frequencies of the, uh, the electricity here. So yeah, I wonder if this will do it. Let's see, it's a magic trick. You know, it didn't even do it, come on. It ruined it. That's supposed to be my magic trick. How am I gonna get into the magic castle now? Okay, there's the cathedral again. When this popped up, this is just, I can't even tell you how massive this is. It just popped out. Like I didn't realize that it was around the corner. And I'm just walking, doo -doo -doo, and I'm like, wow, look at this. That's a pretty big building there. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, it's not. I've never experienced anything like this. And even in New York City and in Tokyo, where you've got big buildings, there's just something about the scale of this. It's just, it's more than just a tall skyscraper. This building is massive. Yeah, we know it's tall. Wow, it's so tall. But it also extends all the way beyond that. Here it is, my final overnight stay here in Germany on the tour. Bummer. Let's see if we can watch the sunset. You know, I'm kind of bummed, you know, watching the sunset here in Germany on the last night. Like, I knew we had so many shows here, we we're gonna have so many days. And now the sun's setting on the last overnight here in Germany, and it's like, oh no, I don't want to go back yet. I want to stay in Europe. What do we, we still have more shows. It's okay. We're not going back right away, but I've been having so much fun on this tour and making these videos and meeting so many people that, uh, that's why it's to last forever. Is that too much to ask? What's up, it's Maddie. Hey, I was gonna go, like touch my hair and fix it like I do in every video, didn't do it. Also, I was gonna be like, what update is this, blah, blah, blah. I know it's update number 22, how about that? I'm doing my research. It's not research, I should just know this stuff anyway, right? Um, okay, so it's the final morning here in Cologne, which is kind of a bummer, I'm gonna miss it. It's, it's our last day in Germany in general. I'm really gonna miss Germany. Okay, I received a good referral for a coffee place, one I haven't been to yet. Yesterday was the coffee, loved it. So let's go ahead, let's get a cafe latte. Let's see what kind of foods they have there. And then I'm gonna head back here to the hotel, pack up and head over to the venue. Wow, this is the best weather we've had yet here in Cologne. It's uh, 9 a.m. heading over to Bloomin' Coffee. It was a recommendation from my good friend, Jesse. Hi, Jesse, he's the uh, monitor mix engineer on tour and he's toured Europe many times and he's got all kinds of recommendations so he told me to check out Bloomin Coffee today it'll be my third coffee spot of Cologne on this trip look at the cathedral I can't stop looking at it it's just something special this is also a, you know this structure here in any other city in the world would be the focal point it is just massive and it's beautiful right it's not fair that it just happens to be in the same city as, you know, one of the largest structures in the entire world. Oh no, another spiral staircase. Hopefully this one's a little easier. Oh, it already is, I can tell. Yeah, the staircase in the cathedral is, that is a, a workout and a half. Right, right around this corner should be, oh, I see something that says coffee. This is it, I think it is. Oh, I think this is a coffee roaster and they do their own, wait a sec, oh, Brazil. Okay, let's go check it out. Wow, that cafe latte was so good. Like literally the first sip. So I drank it all, cashed out. Well, before I cash out, I'm like, okay, can I get another one to go? And it even still has a little heart in it. You know, if we came to Europe in 2020 and the pandemic never happened, 
I would have had a much different experience here. I wouldn't have appreciated it as much. I wouldn't have taken it as seriously. I wouldn't have been documenting all these videos. And I say that with 100% certainty. How do you know? Well, because we already rehearsed for the Europe tour in 2020, we were ready to go. We, we were like a week away. And I just didn't have the same feeling as I do now. Like I was excited and very grateful. Don't get me wrong, but it kind of still just felt like real life, right? This is what I do. We just did the Head Above Water US tour. We had a little break. Now we're going to Europe. Like it was fine. Now it kind of feels surreal. After years of uncertainty of like, is my career still a thing? Like, are we as musicians even like able to tour anymore? Like, are we able to go abroad anymore? I think that's why I'm getting so kind of emotional a lot on this tour. It's kind of weird. What am I doing through these like video vlogs being like, Maddie, are you okay? Maybe it's just because I'm so overly tired. Could be it. But no, for real, it just, I don't know. The pandemic put a lot of things into perspective and, uh, you know, it just makes you appreciate every single minute. Hey, Maddie, you kind of have to like go to sound check. Okay, I'll stop. There it is. That's what I use. Everyone should have a Chemex in their house. Do it. Jesse, okay, so not only did I have Lumen Coffee today on your recommendation, yes. but now I'm actually at a coffee spot with you. Van Dyke, we are at Van Dyke Coffee. And it, it, not only do they have all of their regular roasts here for their natural coffee, but if you look over yonder, we got espresso roast too. And not only do we have espresso roast, but I'm sure you can take a look around. We have, what an atmosphere we got going on here. And we're always with the best guy. Our Mr. Baseman, Maddie. Hi, I'm Mr. Baseman. Thanks for coming to Van Dyke. Glad I can give you a tour. Stop by, I'll be your personal barista, and uh, next Love time you. you're in Cologne, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll serve you. It's cool too, the to-go cups are plastic cups. Super cool. Okay, this is cappuccino number four. Well, I have two cafe lattes, which is kind of the same thing, I guess, from Blooming, and then this is my second one from, what was it? Van Dyke. Van Dyke, Van Dyke Roasters. We'll be hopping around the stage tonight. Well, I always am, but like extra hot. Well, like hoppy beer. I yeah. Just hop off a cup. I'm hoppy, hopping coffee. Hop Yo, Cologne's hop. lucky, man. They're they're. This is the first time on the tour that I'm gonna be busting out the double hop. Are they ready? I don't know. That's why you know it's a dangerous move. Not for me, but for them. I just want to keep everyone safe. It's a it's a dangerous move to witness. Man, this is going to be a crazy. Okay, luckily the video comes out the day after, but I hope that everyone crowd surfs and everything. I totally got spotted. Okay. I wonder if I caught the wave on camera. I think I did. He caught me. See, he knows. So, okay, show's done. We are off to Brussels tomorrow for another show. So, wow, last night in Cologne. We were here for so many nights. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to go hit the road. Let's go see what the venue looks like when it's empty. Okay. All night long. Oh. Oh, the stage is still there. But nothing else is. All right. So they're going to pack all of this up and uh, put it on a truck and then reinstall it in the morning. And then we'll see the stage and do it all again. If you want to see an impression of a haunted house, watch this. See my impression of a, a a house in a storm that's having electrical problems. What's up, Maddie here? Hey, we are in Brussels, Belgium. I'm not starting a video in a hotel room in Cologne. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Here's the driver who gets us to all the lovely yeah, countries and the cities. And yeah, this bus. This bus. This is the best this one. Bus. Yeah, this is the back side. That's the back. Yeah. The front's good too. The front's good. <laughs> I didn't notice there were stairs there. I thought that was the edge. I almost walked right off. I need to wake up. Wake up, Maddie. Wake up. Okay, I woke up. Remember, less than 16, no alcohol. Less than 18, no spirits. Well, this is a big venue, and I really don't know if I'm going the right way, honestly. This is a big venue. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, everyone. 
everybody. It's a sign. Okay, look at this. I'm walking by this like locker area, so I'm chilling. It's like do 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 do. No way. BGs. Sorry, I might just yell BGs. This is vibey. This is fun. time. Okay, snare sounds good. Let's move on. You know, when are we gonna check the bass? The bass. The bass, bass, bass. Hey, Fender. Hey, bass. Okay, this is what it's like. Okay, and to the stage. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> and then you go up these stairs, and then, and then I, whoa, I smell. I did. I smell. Okay. Okay, let's not do that during the show. And then, and then I go up here, and I'm like, hey, there's no one here. Oh man, I just went to exit the venue after sound check and it's that side I'm supposed to go to. How did I wait? What? I'm a mess, I'm a mess. When I take the wrong way. Such a wreck, such a wreck. I'll be on these stairs all day. It is a very mean moment. Like I think I'm locked in the venue. How do I open it? That's why in the venue. Hi, uh, you know, I've heard of being locked outside the venue, but this is kind of like a whole other thing. Uh, excuse me, I can't get out of the venue. Unless I pull this thing. Nope, it didn't work, even with those noises. I'm walking through the streets of Belgium and uh, people probably think I have like a drinking problem because I'm sitting here drinking so much of this and it looks like an alcoholic drink. Well, at least it looks like an American alcoholic drink. I don't know, maybe they're used to it. Maybe they know the brand. And if you don't know the brand, let me, Matty, be the first to introduce you to Mattoni, named after me. I wanted to have a drink, and uh, I don't even know if I pronounced it right. Chablaka Amati. Wait, it says Matty on there. Oh, I never noticed that. Every time someone was like, your name's on there, I'm like, yeah, I get it, Mattoni, Mattoni. I'm so sorry, I've been going on like, without even realizing it. Anyway. Mmm. Good, good, good. Mattoni, available in a store near you, if you live in Prague. I ran into someone here who was like, oh, Maddie, you should try this chocolate. So they're telling me, like, what to get. And then they're also telling me that, like, hey, that's not, like, a Belgian beer. And I'm like, it's not beer. Everyone thinks I have, like, a drinking problem. It's water. Or... Did they just... Are they telling me it's water? It's not beer. Hi, right, this is what's up. I couldn't find waffles, but I got some sausage. I got some fries coming. Everyone thinks I'm drinking beer. Is this really good to be eating before show? I don't know, it's gonna be great. Looks good. Brussels. Okay, that was like the best french fry I've ever had in my life. That was weird. I don't know why it's so different. Good, I, I have no idea how to cook. It's so good. It's a french fry. I want more. Okay, we have one more stop before the show. Now I bought the store-bought Belgian chocolate, right? Which was referred to me by someone here in Belgium. So it's good, but that being said, Let's go ahead and go to an actual chocolate shop here and get the real deal chocolate. All right, we made it. Elizabeth chocolate. And everyone here in Belgium even said like, hey, good choice. This is going to be a good one. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, heading back to the venue now. I got sound, well, no, not sound check. I have the show in a little bit. What am I talking about? Wow, this day's flying by. But not going back to the venue without some Elizabeth chocolate. You know, it's that weird time of day where getting an Uber is kind of far away and it's rush hour and there's traffic and based on the location of where I'm going, it actually would take like about the same amount of time to order the Uber and wait versus just walking. So it's gonna take the same amount of time. Let's just uh, enjoy the walk. I'm still gonna make it. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, just slow things down from time to time. People still think it's weird that I put so much time into making my coffee in the morning or that I walk so many places versus just taking an Uber, but I don't know. Look, where else are you gonna hear birds chirping unless you slow things down and just enjoy the little moments? You know, I didn't even think of that. Like I just walked for an entire hour through Belgium, through the city, through the, the cool parks, through the sidewalks. Like, said hello to a bunch of people like on the other side of the world like i don't know stuff like that that always like makes me so thankful and appreciative for everything that i'm able to do yeah it's been uh it's been it's been fun come on what are you worried i don't miss bus call i don't miss lobby call i don't miss sound check i don't miss the show of course i'm back another show all wrapped up off to the next city off to manchester i like the vibe here Where's the stage? Eh, somewhere over there. Oh, there it is. Oh, it was over there. Okay, off to the next city. Bye. Oh, by the way, it's five in the morning and we were at immigration for two hours to get, <laughs> to get into, wait, what country do we? We're in France, right? We left France and we're going to UK. We're on a ferry. We've already, it's been a long day. Oh, and not to mention we left the venue at 1 a.m. Uh, we're on a ferry here. What time is it? It's not even six in the morning yet. This is, okay, what, what was our day like so far? We, we played the show. We left the venue around one in the morning. At 3.30 in the morning, we got off the bus to go through immigration. And now it's about six and we are cruising on the water. So that's what we're up to. Let's see what the ship has to offer. Oh, I wonder if I could put in the code to enter. Boop. I wonder if that's the code. No, that's a bummer. You know, I'm kind of just walking through. Oh, we got an elevator. That's fun. Oh, crew only. What? That didn't work. Come on, none of these codes work. Okay, cool. Alright, let's explore more of the ferry. The bar. Video arcade. Yep. The video arcade, complete with four copies of Grid. Never played Grid. Terminator. Hey, look at that. Whoa. Hey. Don't mind me. I'm just a robot. Uh, skiing. Whew. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, whew. action shot. Crane games. Key master. I mean, it's got everything you want. You know what I'm saying? Where am I? It's got everything you want. Even has Batman. Driving a Batmobile. There you go, you got all of your shopping needs. Duty free, it's duty free, it looks like it is. There you go, the coronation of King Charles III. Happening while I'm here, that is correct. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Ooh, someone told me to get this. Ooh, spooky. Dead man's fingers. Oof. Wow, oof. That's scaring me. Okay, I'm having nightmares. Oh, I'm on the Spirit of France. Oh, how about that? I didn't know what I was on. What's on board? Food market, club lounge, outside lounge, commercial driver's lounge, commercial driver's shower. I like this person. Oh, don't mind me, just, you know, hanging out. Looking at this giant coffee, just enjoying the look of the steam coming off. Okay, cool, whatever. I think I just came from this area, but let's go check it out. Let's try some of this Jude's flat white coffee. Milkshake.
what's up? It's Maddie. Hey, we just arrived in Manchester. We made it. Da, 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 da. Hey, remember when we were in Cologne and I said like, wow, it's our first proper off day on tour, even though we have days off from shows, the off days are usually pretty busy as well, right? Well, here's an example, right? Today's technically an off day. So if you're looking at the schedule, it's like, oh, you have a day off in Manchester. This was the day. We finished our show last night. We got on the bus and left around one in the morning, got to immigration around 3.30. We were there for about an hour and a half, two hours going through immigration. Then we had a ferry ride. We took the ferry, we got into the UK around, oh gosh, I don't even know. Actually at that point, I really don't know what time it was. Seven in the morning, maybe? I'm not sure. We got back on the bus, drove, 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 and now we are getting into the hotel and finally ready to start the day at about 2 p.m. Hey, remember that video where I'm like, what do you think I come to Germany just so I can get Dunkin' Donuts? Like, what do you think, I'm crazy? Now that's true, but I do have to take those words back because while I did not get Dunkin' Donuts in Cologne, Hello? I am getting Tim Hortons in Manchester. Hi, welcome to Tim Hortons. Wait, what, what am I doing? Wait a second. I haven't had filter coffee in so long. I've been having espressos, right? Let's see what this tastes like. That tastes absolutely nothing like an American or Canadian Tim Hortons coffee. It's good though. Let's try a Timbit. Closer, closer than the coffee, but mm, not quite. The flavor is pretty good though. One more drink of the Tim Hortons coffee. It is so different. And a bit of a familiar thing here on the European tour. It's raining, not pouring. No old man is snoring, but uh, you know, it's a little wet. Makes it exploring a little mm, wet. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna head back to the hotel because I have some gifts uh, that some fans gave me that got sorted out. And uh, yeah, they kind of got all collected and given to me. They were left in the dressing room. So let's see what was given to me. Let's do that. We'll have a nice fan appreciation day. Brought to you by Tim Hortons. Even in Manchester, can you believe it? What's up, it's Maddie here. It's Tuesday, May 9th, and I'm here in a hotel room in London. Ba 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 ba. Maybe you know this, but I am a huge Beatles fan. Like that was the band that just got me started with music. I knew right away I wanted to be a musician. So being in London, I want to check out some spots. If you like the Beatles, then hopefully you like the video. If you don't like the Beatles, well, hopefully you still like the video. Okay, let's go check it out. First stop, of course, Abbey Road Studios where all the Beatles recordings were made and also where, you know, as someone who's into production, this is where so many modern production techniques were developed. And just like a little house chilling here. There's so much recording history is done here. You can see it still brings a lot of people up. I mean, this is like 7.30 in the morning. There's already so many people. Check it out on the wall right next to Abbey Road. You got these signs, don't write here, there, and everywhere. Beatles reference. Love it. Help. Let's keep this wall clean, get back to writing on our wall, that's funny. But it's not really helping much because there's the wall that you can write on and there's just too much Beatles love. Is there anything more iconic as Beatles fans than right here? Come on, that's like one of the most famous photographs in history. The Abbey Road album cover. All right, let's walk across, let's do it. Fifty years later, it's crazy that there are still so many people here. I mean, this is really early too, so I can only imagine what it's like later in the day. You know, I guess it would kind of be rough to live here and try to have to drive this street because every single moment there are people walking by uh, a little bit of a traffic jam so oh the sun is really starting to come out now uh we got one more stop and then uh and then i'll start making my way back to the hotel so i can make it in time for lobby call because remember i don't miss lobby call 
here we are, the third and final stop on the Beatles tour that I have time for before I need to get the lobby call. It's right here. What's this? Well, right up here? That's the location of the Beatles' final live performance as a band. That's the rooftop performance concert location back in 1969. And if you're unsure if this is the location, the Beatles played their last live performance on the roof of this building January 30th, 1969. It's funny, even here, early morning, there's people here taking pictures, taking pictures of the plaque. Uh, and this is real early morning too, so yeah, that's interesting that even this location gets visitors daily. That's incredible. It's crazy how much love Beatles still get. A band that, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here in London right now because I wouldn't be doing music. I guarantee that. So. Yeah, I'm gonna head back. I gotta make lobby call and then get to the venue now. Uh, I'll talk to you after show one, or maybe after sound check. Okay, bye. I made it back to the lobby call, made it to the venue. Like I said, I don't miss the lobby call, but check it out. This venue was opened in the late 1800s. Let's go and take a look at what the inside looks like. Wow, this is gonna be fun. What? Okay, this is definitely the craziest looking venue I've seen. Like, this is the inside. What? So cool. Like, how could this be a music venue? It's got like stained glass and stuff. This is, wow, beautiful. This is, I didn't expect that. I mean, granted, I, I, oh, there's even a truck. Can you win that truck? Possibly. Like I said, it was built in the 1800s, like late 1800s, but still. Oh, so no big deal, but the, uh, the venue also has a, an ice rink attached to it where they play hockey games and they have public skating, so. Whatever. That's really cool. Look at this venue. Like, it has all of this stuff in here. Like, it's all connected. A music venue, an ice rink, concession stand, Egyptian sculptures. You know, I'm on a quest to find the production office to get an adapter for my straightener. It's gonna happen. One of these colors. Good news. Production found an adapter for me and I can actually like straighten my hair so it stops looking like whatever this weird flat top is. Getting ready, almost time. Well, almost time for doors. We'll see what this looks like in about an hour. It's gonna be slammed. They really want front row. Go, run, run, run. They're not running. You need to go faster than that, come on. You're not gonna get to the front in that pace. There you go, much better. Good job. What's up, it's Maddie here. Hey, I'm just chilling in a hotel room in London, but it's a sad day. It's the last day on the European UK tour, can you believe it? When I first joined the band four years ago, I knew that we were going to Europe. The dates were on the calendar. May 10th, 2023, we're still finally rescheduling and playing our shows that were supposed to be done in 2020. Like that is unbelievable. I'm so happy I documented this tour. You know, people are saying you should have documented the other ones. And honestly, I think there's something special about documenting a European tour. You know, because you can drive a few hours and you have different language, culture, currency, government. It's like every single thing is so different. When I don't think I would have got that if I would have documented, say, all of Canada, all of US, all of Japan, for example. While there would be some differences, you don't get the extreme drastic changes that you get in Europe just by traveling a few hours this way or that. I don't know what I was expecting coming into this tour, mostly because I didn't know what to expect. Maybe it just seems ridiculous with how much I ramble or interact and, and do live streams and talk to, like, it literally means the world to me. All right, so either I'm gonna sit here and ball my eyes out and cry and ramble, or I'm gonna catch this, like, bus so I can go to the venue and play the last show instead of just crying about wanting to play the last show. What am I talking about? Okay, I'm gonna go to the venue. Bye. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't actually say it though. Ah, but it is what I am. It is. This is in my story every day. <laughs> and that's why you'll probably notice I haven't been checking out your stories lately. <laughs> Final day, final day. Mm, okay, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I have to go this way. I think I remember where to go. Together forever and ever tonight. You know, if you sing that here in, in the UK, you're like a superstar. Well, he's a superstar. I'm saying they think you're a superstar level of coolness, I guess. Final day, where to explore? This is great. Like everything's already loaded in. There's no setup for the stage. Everything is great. So everything's good. I have lots of time to explore. There's even still streamers on the, whatever you would call that, from last night's show. How about that? Such a very like UK day here in Wham. Got some more ghastly. You know, we got the like Oasis jams happening. No question where I am. Good catering. Let's see what they got. Last day for catering. <laughs> Last day in catering. Last day for the so curry. It's, it's not. But it's the last day. Oh, because you used all of the inventory already <laughs> for the exciting stuff, forgetting we had two days in London. It's the last day with the espresso machine. Can I take it home? Yeah. I can, right? Yeah, yeah, Because the tour is done. Anything for you. Okay. Um, who do I talk to? I'll just pack it up. I got it. Thanks. So it says the last day of Tango Orange. Actually, I never even had Tango Orange, but even still, I did the last day for it. You never had Tango? I never had Tango Orange. Okay. <laughs> I never had Tango Apple. I need to find George Michael's house before I leave. I'm never gonna dance again. Da, da, da. I'm gonna find him. It's gonna happen. I need to find George Michael. George Michael's house. Previous house. <laughs> hey, Rick Astley too. Last day of that kick drum sound. I was gonna record it and play it every day. That's what I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm back on tour. So what I'm gonna do? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna swap this hoodie. It's too big. I'm a little guy. Hoodie's too big. Wait, did I just get out here in time to watch my bass get line check? Hold on. I've never seen this before. I wanna hear how massive my bass sounds. I'm gonna be like, bloop, bloop, bloop. It sounded more like a fish tank. Let's see what we got. Oh. Yeah. It's good sound and bass. Good sound and bass. Last day of rocking the bases last day so here's what happens this is and then i have another one up here i have four bases with me so what will happen is i'll figure out like which base i want to take with me we'll sort it out in los angeles obviously this is all coming back and then i'll figure out like what one or two bases one maybe two bases i want and the rest kind of just go in storage with the rest of the stuff like some of these bases i didn't see for like a year or so in between like head above water kind of just goes away so it's always refreshing to see the bases after a while but yeah this will be my last time in a long time to see all of these bases in one place and have access to them you know to be in this venue that in a few hours we're going to be rocking like a super awesome sold out show super vibey fun place right in london this is great and in what less than 24 hours i'll be back in america with all of the uk and european shows done that were scheduled from 2019 it's gonna be a fun show i'm gonna love every minute what is this last day of pranks 
Did I leave this on your? I didn't leave this. I don't drink my coffee with milk. Wait, maybe I. Wait. Wait a second. Is that really in your work box? Is this my garbage throughout the tour? I definitely didn't drink this. Maybe it is. <laughs> Final sound check, all done. There's my microphone, what's up? Wait, where was that place I was at yesterday with like all the uh, statues and wait, oh, wait, now I remember. It was through that way. Oh, there's a curtain there now. And something that says, Stoya to Okay, yeah, give me some cash. How much can I get? Uh, uh, that's broken. Oh, this really cool outdoor area. I like it. Like the statues and the pillars and all that. It seems like just yesterday I was here for the first time. I found the. Oh, that scared me for a second. I thought it looked at me. Stop. Don't look at me. Okay, then. I got freaked out. I turned around and I saw that and I thought someone was looking at me. I can't do this. I gotta get out of here. This is the backstage bar. It looks pretty nice. Look at this. Fancy. Marble floors. 24 karat gold things. Alley Pally Backstage Bar. Ooh. Where? Here? It's a little small, but it is a little squishy. I think someone's there. Do I dare? Of course I do. Wait, what do you think this does? <gasps> okay. What about this one? Oh, that one's lame. There we go. Much better. I'm on a quest to find Jesse. I gotta find Jesse. He's probably maybe in catering. Let's check catering. Catering's a good bet. Who else played here? The 1975. Ooh, bring me the horizon. Uh, who else? Major Laser. Correct. Major Laser played here. They don't like Major Laser. All right, Jesse was not in catering, but see who else played here. All right, sorry, I was less enthusiastic. That was kind of uncalled for. They put their blood, sweat, and tears into their shows here. And for me to just walk by because I can't find Jesse because I want to get coffee. What, I want to kicked out now? Are you calling? Jeez. It's just me again. <laughs> I go on so many flights of stairs, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I, I'll be back. I'm just gonna keep exploring. Probably in about 45 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? Less than 45 seconds. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was 45 seconds. I was counting 35 or something. That's hilarious. I realized I needed my phone charger. <laughs> I, yeah. I and it will be another 45 seconds and you'll see me again once I get my phone charger and head back down. Take a look outside the venue. I'm trying to find Jesse. I want to get an Uber and get some coffee. Oh, a bird. I'm going to use my bird app and upload that video and see what bird that was. It just went Bruh. I did not get a donut from Let's Get Glazed, but you know, maybe some other time. That's what I'm saying. When? Yeah. Tomorrow. Leave me alone. Uh, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Oh, Mexican taco. Maybe I'll get that. Will I? Mm, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out which one to get. Ah, oh, I went to donut time. I had to. And I'm like, hey, can I get this before the show? And they're like, uh, absolutely. So I got the. Uh, what did I get? I got the Gordon Jamsy. Like, look at this. What? Should I be eating that before a show? Yeah, sure. Why not? Getting close to doors. Door time on the final night. What? Hey, at least the sun's still out. I see it. Final show. Final show. Showtime! Hey, we're walking here! Hey, she's walking! walking. 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 Last 
Last show, last show. One more? One more. One more show. That's it, final show. And we're leaving the menu in a half hour. And that's it. What a tour. What a tour. It's just so much fun. I'll see you in the next one. What's up? It's Maddie here. And, um,. Yeah, it's about one in the morning. We just got back to the hotel. Uh, we finished the show. We had about 20 minutes to change, uh, change out of wardrobe, pack up, get to the transportation, get back to the hotel. And now I have about three hours until I have to meet the next transportation to get to the airport. Bet you never realized that touring was this crazy, did you? So. Uh, and if I wasn't making these videos, I probably wouldn't believe it myself. So, uh, like I said, I have about three hours. Maybe I'll rest up for, I don't know, 30 minutes and then pack up. What's up, it's Maddie? It's a little before 4 a.m. What, so like three hours after the last update? Maddie, you're looking tired. No, I'm not. I'm wide awake. Oh boy. Um, let's fly back to America. Yep. What's up, it's Maddie. It is now 6.30 in the morning and the sun's coming up a little bit. It's a little, lot brighter, not a little brighter, a lot brighter. And uh, you know, I'm one of like, what, five people in the entire London airport right now? Crazy, well, when do I board? I board in like a half hour and then that's it. Then we go, how's my makeup? My makeup's looking crazy. Am I waking up a little bit? I don't know, I'm just gonna sleep on the plane. How's my hair? Hair's looking fine. Well. That's it. That was how many weeks here? Five, six weeks in Europe? I will end once I'm on the plane. We'll see it. We'll head right back to America and then I'll keep you posted on what comes next. Well, I won't keep you posted on this video. That'll be it. This is it. This is the last one. Okay, it's almost time. Ordered, ready to go. It's the end of the European tour. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Love you.